My name is Mike McKenna, Canadian Fallen Firefighter Foundation Second Vice President, and I will be your MC for today's ceremony. On behalf of the Executive and the Board of Directors of the Canadian Fallen Firefighters Foundation, welcome to the 12th Canadian Firefighters Annual Memorial Ceremony, as we do every year at this time. Foundation First Vice President Doug Wiley will now read the names of those firefighters added to the honour roll since the last ceremony. Starting with British Columbia, Rick McFarland, Campbell River Fire Department, Wayne Ryu, Port Coquitlam Fire Department, Lionel Thompson, Vancouver Fire and Rescue Services, Province of Alberta, Andy Anderson, Calgary Fire Department, William McCaw, Calgary Fire Department, James Keats, Calgary Fire Department, Robert Moore, Calgary Fire Department, Neville Cave, Calgary Fire Department. Henry Goldsworthy, Calgary Fire Department. Gary Kendall, Calgary Fire Department. Joseph Van Rin, Coaldale and District Emergency Services. Robert Oscroft, Red Deer Fire Department. Province of Saskatchewan. Robert Fry, Regina Fire Department. William McIntyre, North Battleford Fire Department. Manitoba, Brian Brusegard, Winnipeg Fire Department, Dave McCorsetan, Winnipeg Fire Department, Ontario, Norman Henri Elbin, Fire Department, Ted Hayden, New Tecumseh Fire Department, Glenn Emerson, Belleville Fire Department, Gary Mallette, Brockville Fire Department, Jack Browers, Burlington, Fire Department, Lawrence Walker, Cambridge Fire Department, David Hildrop, Hamilton Fire Department, Albert Hollins, Markham Fire and Emergency Services, Gordon Bro, Oshawa Fire Department, Herb Little, Ottawa Fire Department, Jack Molitor, Sarnia Fire and Rescue Services, Hendrick Smith, Sarnia Fire and Rescue Services, George Leader, Sarnia Fire Rescue Services. William Cannon, Sarnia Fire Rescue Services. Ramsey Keast, Sarnia Fire Rescue Services. John Ancatel, Etobicoke Fire Department. Terrence Hayworth, Toronto Fire Services. David O'Brien, Toronto Fire Services. John Roach, Toronto Fire Services. Bruce. Staten, Toronto Fire Services, the Province of New Brunswick, William Swetnam, Moncton Fire Department. We'll now introduce Captain Robert Kirkpatrick, President of the Canadian Fallen Firefighter Foundation. Honorable Mr. Polyev, Chief Lee, honored guests, fellow firefighters, and especially the families of the fallen. On behalf of the Executive and Board of Directors of the Canadian Fallen Firefighters Foundation, it is my humble honor to welcome you to the 12th Annual Canadian Firefighters Memorial Ceremony. As the Canadian Fire Service remembers those firefighters who died in the service of their community. It is an honor to have the combined efforts of the Saskatchewan Fire Services as this year's honorary host. 
whether in Saskatchewan or anywhere in Canada. Firefighters are the guardians of their towns, always ready to answer the call for help at any time. Special thanks to the Saskatchewan Fire Service and the Foundation Ceremony Committee for today's event, as well as the owners of our memorial site, the National Capital Commission. Please check your program for the dedicated people, organizations, sponsors and companies that help us put on this annual ceremony. Thanks also to the Foundation's directors and ambassadors and all those who fundraise throughout the year for the goals of this Foundation. The Foundation would like to mention two people who lost their lives over the last year who are not part of this official ceremony today. Student Adam Brunt from Ontario died training to become a firefighter and Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent, a National Defence Fire Service member, was killed in a senseless act of terrorism. Our condolences to these families. While the Fire Service and all Canadians honour and remember our fallen with this ceremony and monument, we must not forget their families. The Foundation continues our support with education, funeral assistance and other family support programs. Today we pause to remember 1,248 Canadian firefighters, including those added today, who have died serving their communities since 1848. They have come from large cities, small towns, remote rural areas and different branches of the fire service but they had the duty of protecting our lives, property and natural resources. The Canadian Fire Service facilitated by the Foundation recognizes the sacrifice made by these families who lost a loved one in the service of their community and is committed to helping them in some way while making sure those who have answered their last alarm are never forgotten. Thank you. And now, representing our honorary host, the Saskatchewan Fire Services, Fire Chief Trent Lee, President, Saskatchewan Association of Fire Chiefs. Today we honour the brave and the courageous firefighters that have answered their final call. To lose them has left pain in our hearts, many tears of sorrow have fallen, and an emptiness has been left behind. In our grief, it is easy to forget that these firefighters have also left something that we can have pride in, something we need to share and that we need to celebrate. We need to celebrate their legacy, a legacy of a person who woke up every day putting the lives and safety of others as top priority. The legacy of wonderful families, friends that they left behind. We need to remember the good times, the not so good times, and of course the silly times and stories that we have throughout our firehouses and our homes. This is tough. We will not ease the pain or suffering of a loved one when we lose them, but perhaps we can take comfort in knowing that their courage and bravery has impacted an entire nation a nation that appreciates the sacrifice that you, as their family, has also made. To the families of Daryl Elwood, Craig Hoffland, Ronald Clark, Cyril Rowe, Haven Morin, Richie Jodfrey, Christopher Lavery, Kevin James, and Donna Bamber, thank you for being here today and assisting us ensuring that the memory and the legacy of your loved ones live on. A few moments ago, I had occasion to board an OC Transpo bus and meet with nine extraordinary families who have lost loved ones in the service of their communities. These families know that they had among them for all too short a time an extraordinary hero. In fact, many of them have now gone on to have sons and daughters that have joined the fire forces across this country because of, not despite of, the sacrifice that was given by the one that came before them. We often forget uh, that 
being a firefighter, the sacrifice that goes along with it is not just the immediate catastrophic danger, but the extraordinary wear and tear that this life does on the human body. Entering a firing building is not just temporarily dangerous. It means toxic smoke. It means lifting extraordinary weight and in a manner that is unhealthy to the, to the physical frame. It means enduring unrelenting heat, the effects of all of which follow the firefighter for many years to come and can lead to their early passing, as is so often the case. We must remember that even those who come out of those burning buildings take lifelong scars with them. We must be eternally grateful that they are prepared to bear those scars so that the rest of us don't have to. They are the courageous few who, when the fire burns and the rest of us are running away, run towards the danger. We thank them, we honor them, we celebrate them. We wish them blessings and the peace of God. On behalf of all Canadians, thank you. We will now honor those active firefighters who made the supreme sacrifice. Firefighter Daryl Elwood, Windsor Fire and Rescue Services, Ontario. Firefighter Craig Hoffland, Innisfil Fire and Rescue Services, Ontario. Deputy Chief Ronald Clark, Wembley Fire Department, Alberta. Firefighter Cyril Rowe, Decca Lake Volunteer Fire Department, British Columbia. Le Pompier Kevin Morin, Service de Sécurité Incendie, Région Lac Mégantic, Québec. Engineer Richie Jodry, New Germany Volunteer Fire Department, Nova Scotia. Firefighter Christopher Lavery, CFB Halifax Fire Department, Nova Scotia. Firefighter Kevin James, Southwald Fire Department, Ontario. Firefighter Donald Bamber, Lake St. Anne County Fire Services, Alberta. In the past, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of a firefighter shift, sounded each alarm, and when the call was completed. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, it was the toll of the bell that solemnly announced a comrade's passing, and so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our comrades, their last alarm, they are going home. 